This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Well, we've really got so much rain and snow yes. in the last couple of months, so we're taking a look at how the winter weather impacted skiers in southern Arizona. So, not on your sides, Veronica Acosta is out on Mount Lemon this morning with details. Veronica, good morning. Guys, good morning. Well, more snow means more business for the folks up on Ski Valley. Right now, there's between 12 and 18 inches of base snow up on Ski Valley ground. Now, we spoke to some of those employees at Ski Valley who told us that the recent amount of snowfall they've had in the past few months has been great for business. They say they've had a ton of people go up and enjoy those slopes, something that they say they weren't able to see in the past two years because there wasn't enough snow on the ground. They say they're hoping to get more snow as the month of March continues. Hopefully more people can get up there and enjoy what they have to offer. For now, reporting from the base of Mount Lemon, Veronica Acosta, Kega 9 on your site. You know, all over the world, including right here in southern Arizona, people are remembering the 50 people who were killed at two mosques in New Zealand. There will be a vigil in Tucson tonight. It's organized by the Northwest Tucson Interfaith Alliance. They say it will be an act of solidarity and prayer as they remember the victims of the, quote, senseless tragedy. Again, that's tonight at 7 at the Muslim Community Center Tucson. Well, two years ago, the town of Sonoida got its first and only Dollar General. Now that corporation is expanding to other parts of the country. Not everybody in Sonoida was happy about it. The town has only a little more than 800 people, and they want to keep buying from their local shops. Since then, we talked to people who say they've accepted it and its place in town, but still hold true to their local roots. We did reach out to Dollar General about how well the business has been doing since its arrival. It said, quote, we have been well received by the community and we look forward to continuing to serve some of the customers in this location. The city of Tucson wants to hear from the public about how often cars can go up a mountain. This week, Tucson City Council members Steve Kazachik and Paul Durham will hold an open house to hear what the public thinks about a mountain safety issues. There will be two meetings later this week at both Ward 6 and Ward 1 offices. Now for a look outside, let's go to meteorologist April Madison. April, another warm day ahead of us? Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot like yesterday, only less wind, hopefully, fingers crossed. We've seen calmer winds this morning, and that's allowed our temps to get down to about 50 so far. Clear skies and winds anywhere up to 15 miles per hour early on, but then it'll just continue to die down probably a little bit quicker than yesterday. So less wind to start the week. It returns, though, on Wednesday, the first day of spring, and that's going to bring us not only a slight chance for rain Thursday, but some 70s for the second half of the week. Thank you. For more news and weather updates, head to our website, kagan9.com, and follow us on social media.